So Varesh ended up getting the uh, inhibitor's guard explodes. So that'll be good against the uh, the croak there. I think that's a, a good pickup. And I'm sure Pearl grab dive. And then he's got the second ability of Toxic. So there's a stun on Paloma. Paloma's going to use the other side to back out a little bit. Does get the shield from Varesh, though. So a lot of their defense is down. And look at that. Croak ends up dashing to, to her space and uh, puts a little bit of damage there. Varesh is a little bit out of position, though. Does have the double buff, but it is now off of the Croak. And Croak just doing so much damage to the Paloma. I'm actually really surprised to see Paloma, as I kind of said before, because in my opinion, Paloma just does so much better in a 3v3 situation and you see croak uh if you're wondering the reason he jumped in and then jumped out is because it resets his m1s when he jumps when he jumps so he wanted to jump onto somebody to do damage it just helps spread out the damage and there's the ultimate he used it to grab and so he's at half uh ooh, good uh good counter there to to get away from that and there's the ultimate he's gonna have to use his r to not take the damage which he does ends up jumping onto the pearl and you see this is I mean, Varesh has some serious power in 1v1 in croak is gonna wait out and now Varesh is a sitting duck he knows that so he's just gonna die but that's the problem with Varesh if you miss your um if you miss your counter you're gonna be toast absolutely toast so uh Woozak and X Black end up taking round one. Blue team up one nothing. Let's see what's grabbed here. So early on, Paloma was forced to use her M2, and then uh, Varesh ended up using her sh his shield on her while she was in the other side, and um, that's just not good. So she ends up picking up the heal, which I think is smart in, in a 2v2 situation. He gets the heal, which I think is okay because they're going to be hard to deal with. She gets the cooldown reduction, which I expected, and then the frog leap, which uh, we'll see if he's able to hit those frog leaps. He was hitting them earlier. There's one. He's on top, not able to utilize. There's the hit there. Going to follow up. Other side's the stun, which was very good. So going to be able to reposition. However, she's a little bit vulnerable. I'm not sure if her space has been used. There it is to push back and her Q should be coming out any second. There it is, though, but he dodges it with the jump. As Pearl sets up to steal the orb, she does get the orb, and incapacitate coming out, does get the stun, not going to be able to get out of there, and look at that, they just end up jumping to where her uh, her uh, spirit is. I don't know what, what you call her space bar, uh, but the leap in, will an ultimate be coming out here? It'll be interesting to see. I, could, I wouldn't be surprised to see Toxic Blaze or something like that to take a little bit of pressure off the healing for Pearl. There's the M2s coming out from Croak, just missing. The ultimate just misses from Pearl. Actually, no, Pearl does hit one. There comes Paloma. Paloma gets stunned. Paloma taken out. Varesh uses his ult, and I think he hit one or two. There's the counter getting so low. Oh, man, over the wall. And there's the ultimate. He goes over. He does hit her. Hits her twice. She's getting taken down very low. Oh, but not able to get the kill in the bubbles there now. She does get silenced. Oh, it's so hard to finish that good um, job countering uh, the Croak stun. He is going to use the R to try to continue to chase. The shield coming onto himself. It is going to explode. Doesn't get the silence, though. And there's the camouflage. There's the counter. He just waits it out. I think that's so smart. I mean, why even try to hit it? You know you're up 2v1. Don't hit the counter. You basically do that, and you got the win. So close to finishing off that Pearl, but Pearl was able to dive away and then put up a bubble, and Varesh couldn't really do any damage. And that goes back to what uh, you guys were saying about Varesh's lack of mobility. Um, it just makes it so hard. I th personally, I think Varesh has more, uh, more is more better. Uh, Varesh is more better uh, in a 3v3 situation because he can sit back. He doesn't have to be super mobile. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree with that. But I, I do think that having the, the 3v3 would make Varesh quite a stronger champion. All right, getting into round three here as the blue team is up 2-0. Varesh getting the, those debuffs on early. Croak putting on a ton of damage. The other side is going to be used, but she's going to get chased out. Her space is there. Croak going to be able to continue to put pressure. Pearl diving in, going to reset, does get the silence. However, uh, the fear of putting Croak way out in the middle of nowhere, jumps over the wall, has to other side to come back out, gets the AoE heal from leaving that, push back from the space. And here comes the incapacitate. 
and does get it. They follow up onto the Paloma, the EX, to push uh, Varesh out a little bit more. I don't know if that was needed, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But they're able to put a lot of pressure on this Paloma. Paloma has her ultimate. She's actually not going to use it on herself. She's going to try to get the double hit. Just barely misses the double hit. The incapacitate onto Varesh, though. The follow up on a Paloma. Paloma taken down to a quarter health now. As actually Croak is getting taken down pretty low himself. Not able to get the incapacitate. Trying to follow up. The fear not hitting as he able to leap out. And Croak is so difficult to hit with Varesh ult. We'll see what he ends up doing. There's the counter. Not going to get incapacity. Immediately broken, though, by Pearl. And uh, Croak trying desperately to chase on there. Good job, though. That E, the wolf heal there, was so big, I think. Oh, man. Sitting in the counter. Pushed back into the ult. Not going to get the double hit. Pearl going to go around the wall, though. And let's see. Do they walk into a double ult? No. The other side, they just missed getting the double ult. She actually brings him into her. And Varesh is almost full health, though. I don't know... Uh, you know what she's going to be able to do here is again trying to dash away. Uh, you know, I, I think at this point it's kind of like, hey, all right, you know what, good fight, let it go. There we go. So red team does take their first round. It was uh, it was a really good round there. Excuse me, man, I need water. I, I didn't get water before this, guys. That was really stupid of me. Uh, and so what was book? Pearl got the, if the bubble breaks, she gets her energy back. All right. And then Noxious Lunge reduces the cooldown of Camouflage. I like that one. It makes you quite mobile. The Spiritual Wind giving you movement speed I think is good because she's able to get away from Croak. And then Wuju inflicts Judgment. I like that one because the next one, you can get the one where if you have both buffs, it doubles the what the buffs do. And so then if you hit your Wuju, you just have to M1 them, which you can free since they're stunned. Uh, so I like that one. Uh, but I think there's other good ones in that in that one too. Um, that's a tough one to figure out. All right, Croak jumping in, going right for Paloma again. Paloma's going to knock back with her space as Paloma takes quite a bit of damage. The Fear now pushing her back. Varesh putting damage onto Pearl. Pearl getting a heal, though, from her counter. Here comes the Silence. Is going to hit Paloma. Paloma taking a bit more damage there from Croak. Again, though, the pushback. Paloma's doing a really good job of fighting the Croak. Excuse me. <coughs> um, and Croak actually isn't moving. I don't know what just happened to Croak. Um, and they're actually going to wait for a reset. This is good sportsmanship here. Wow. Hey. Good sportsmanship waiting for that DC. Wow. I don't even know if there is a DC rule. I'm going to let... Uh, Okay, let's see if we can check here. So I'm going to ask the admins, uh, um, and then let me check the rules. Okay, rules. Let me see if it says anything about DC here. Um, if a player is disconnected during the game, the game is automatically paused the first time it happens. The pause can last up to 10 minutes. Game is paused to 10 minutes and the same player drops, the game cannot be paused. In case the other player of the team that already spent the pause time drops, the game can be resumed once the countdown reaches zero for both players. Um, So, I had to do a quick read of the rules. Oh, man, I feel bad for these guys right now. I'm going to check out what chat's saying. Um, so, you can cleanse those allowing you to move like Freya, but you can't cleanse Shifu or Sirius. Um, 
And that's info about your abilities the game doesn't tell you, and the wiki is far from complete. This is a close matchup here, Chris. So yeah, it's a bummer that this is happening right now. For example, you know that there is a difference between channeled stances and stances you can move in. Oh, right. Well, in Perix, the other thing too is what I'm hoping to talk a little bit about is there's a difference between projectiles and beams for range damage, <clears throat> which uh, is hard to know. Way better than matchmaking. <laughs> Apparently they uh, meet each other in matchmaking a lot. Uh, well, this here is a close matchup. Little and Lirio uh, is adapting TX and Wuzak. Yeah, I think Lorio and them did a really good job, and I felt like um, Lorio was doing a lot better job fighting with the Croak. Or, I'm sorry... Uh, or, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, Loria was doing a good job fighting against the Croak, and that really helped. Hmm. So does anybody know how long has it been... Wuzak has connected. Is that who disconnected? It is. Okay, good. All right, so match resuming, guys. Man, look at that sportsmanship, guys. Everyone is so nice. I really appreciate that. Good sportsmanship, guys. Okay, so back into the action. Uh, as Wuzak going back in, is this have his deceit, gets the incapacitate. They're trying to wait and follow up. Does hit the stun. There's the silence. Not able to get a ton of damage as actually uh, Inhibitor hits a ton of his uh, damage onto Pearl. As again, Wuzak trying to put damage here onto Paloma, but Paloma's going to fear him away. With the counter coming off from Pearl. Oh, it is going to hit it. The counter, no. Incapacitate, stun combo. There's the ultimate. As it looks like the red team might have got that uh, orb, which I'm actually quite surprised of. And uh, Pearl trying to reposition, as you see that uh, Lorio is basically at full health. There's the EX bubble coming out, though. Didn't I think it missed, as the silence coming out onto Vares. And here's the incapacitate onto Paloma, setting up that stun combo with the silence. That's big damage, good coordination here, coming out from Pearl and Croak. As the red team again gets the orb, though, healing them back up. And there's the stun, silence, incapacitate combo again. A lot of damage coming out here. The crow, or I'm sorry, the Varesh is going to hit his trance as he leaps in onto Pearl, doing a bit of damage, incapacitated, switching over to Paloma. Paloma's going to use her ultimate wisely and actually puts her on the other side there for a second. And she's going to dodge the stun and do a bit of damage onto Croak. Croak repositioning as Pearl coming in again. Pearl is the lowest of the players right now. Varesh doing quite a bit of ultimate damage there. Does get the ult, or the kill onto Pearl. And Croak going to be the sole survivor. Going to ult on the Paloma. Paloma likely has her M2. Oh no, she's just going to eat it. She could have dodged that with her space or her M2. Um, there's the wolf coming out. They're going to get the orb again. The counter. Oh, he just barely mistimed that. And he's going to give that round up. And I believe that is now two rounds to two. <laughs> oh man, this is great. I, I wish all players played like this. I mean, that is just great sportsmanship. Uh, EX must use um, Little and Lorio adapting well. Uh, X Black must use her ability to split the battlefield more. She has the ability to force 1v2s. Pearl must deny Varesh. Yeah, we'll see here. The Varesh is having free reign there a little bit. 
as Varesh trying to get those debuffs on there does get the damage uh, increase. Just misses his shatter. Just misses the other one. Is going to hit his Q though. Oh, the counter doesn't hit. She's leaping out of there and taking some big damage with that damage buff on there. They're going to reset though. Try to get the orb. And oh, I can't tell who got that. I think the red team has the red team's full health and the blue team is not. The camouflage coming out just misses the stun. A bit more damage again coming out here as there's that damage buff. As Paloma trying to uh, peel this croak off her a little bit. And actually doing quite a bit of damage. There's the other side. Incapacitate going off. There's the ultimate. Almost got the double ultimate. Just missed it. But croak again taking a bunch of damage from the Paloma. As the red team has double ult. We'll see what they end up doing here. As the... Uh, I'm sure, oh, I thought for sure the ultimate was coming out there from Varesh to incapacitate the stun. She's in her ultimate though. So she's going to get steeled. The pushback by Pearl. Here comes the ultimate. One, two... Three of them hit. Pearl not able to dodge any of the Shatter just missing the uh, Shatter just missing that one till though two. The Wolf just missing. There's the incapacitate trying and she has her R out to do a little bit of damage. The panic gonna be pushing back. The wolf oh man, she hits the orb to push it onto Pearl. That was pretty smart. Croak hitting a couple. There's the deceit, but it breaks immediately as Paloma launch, uh, lunges back towards Varesh and Varesh is at full health here. The ultimate from Pearl missing, which is really unfortunate there for Pearl. And Varesh has his ultimate again, trying to get that damage boost on before he ulted as uh, Paloma taking oh, a lot of damage. It is going to be able to get healed back up. There's the jump in from Croak. The red team looks like they got that again. Maybe there's one, two, three again ults onto Pearl. Pearl getting dangerously low. There's the shatter. The counter will not hit the shatter because it's AoE. And uh, trying to get this kill onto Paloma. She has his ultimate. She jumps in. Or, I'm sorry, Croak jumps in. Will he ult around the corner? It's just going to get taken out. And so the red team was down two rounds to zero. Now comes back is in the lead three rounds to two. Really wonderfully uh, done, you know, uh, coming back. Um, they, they've adjusted really well. <laughs> Quick thinking pause. <clears throat> All right, so Varesh and Paloma holding the center a little bit. Croak waiting to engage. Croak now goes in the Varesh, ends up switching targets onto the Paloma. Paloma's going to other side to reposition. There's the stealth coming out. Good pushback, though, from the Paloma and not going to take that pressure, or the stun, rather. A little bit of pressure still coming out. Uses her R to put some big damage onto the Croak, and Croak, oh, man, getting that debuff so she does less damage. Paloma going to try to space away, and now the Camouflage coming in. The M2, which is the other side from Paloma. The Fear coming out. There's the Wolf going to hit. Pearl now readjusting so they can heal, and the Red Team just doing so much poke onto this Blue Team. And not able to hit the uh, <coughs> excuse me the counter there. Uh, but will Paloma reposition herself here? She's just going to actually stay. There's the ultimate from Varesh. Varesh actually misses. That's a big miss from Varesh. That has been a huge part of bursting down this uh, pearl and she uses the switch to not take the damage she used the ex switch there too it looked like i don't know if she needed to um but maybe she didn't have the time i wasn't paying good attention the red team again gets the the uh the orb and so now croak coming back in on the silence paloma paloma gonna push back there's the incapacitate how are they setting up there's the paloma ultimate onto the varesh so they couldn't follow up that's a pretty smart ultimate there from paloma as croak again tries to come in but Paloma is going to other side to get out. And you see, this is really interesting. Varesh is sitting in the middle. Uh, and basically has just been sitting in the middle this whole game. And Paloma is constantly like going around the sides. And Croak trying to chase Paloma, etc. And Varesh just kind of sits there doing damage. Uh, he does hit a couple ultimate uh, casts onto the Pearl. As Croak also getting taken down very low. And again, the Varesh just isn't having to do much. The Wolf hitting the orb there, then going to Croak does hit Croak. Pearl trying to uh, reset and get out of there. But what an odd, uh, what an odd kind of setup here. I, I, I'm just really wasn't expecting that. You know, I think they got to make Varesh chase. But the thing is, though, is the way that this game is set up now is you can't F1 and heal up your uh, damaged health. So they're able to just hold the center, which is where they do it. And so the enemy has to keep coming to them. And so, uh, you know, I don't know if this lack of mobility is really affecting them too much because they're just holding center very, very strongly. Uh, maybe they need to put a little bit higher pressure and make Varesh's lack of mobility come to play here a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, what you think the blue team needs to do to come back here as the red team is on uh, the match point. 
Croak and Pearl taking quite a bit of damage. Those debuffs here, uh, just doing work. The, taking extra damage and doing less damage is, is really difficult to deal with. And so the red team, again, taking another orb as Varesh has his ultimate, is not going to use it on Croak. Croak is so slippery. It's so hard to get him with all of his. Uh, Pearl can be a bit slippery, too. So I'm sure he's waiting for... Oh, no, there it is. But is going to miss as Pearl used the dive. I was just about to say, he's probably waiting for the dive to come out. Using her ultimate to heal herself up there. I think that's fine by Paloma. As the counter being hit there by Pearl. Pearl taking a bit of damage. And Croak not really able to engage quite yet. Jumps in. He's going to jump out as they try. Are they going to get their first orb? It looks like they went to the red team again, did it? I don't know. It looked like a red explosion. I don't know if it does a blue explosion. Maybe it just does a red explosion. Uh, but he has his ultimate again. So uh, let's see if he's going to be able to bait out the dive. He needs to bait out the dive. And then he can go in there as Croak continuing trying to pressure that Paloma in the back. There's the dive. So I'm sure the ultimate will be coming any second now. There it is. One, two, three. All onto the pearl. And there's the kill onto the pearl. Croak has the tournament life in his hands. Will he be able to follow up? Hitting a couple M2s. There's the ultimate onto Paloma. Paloma, though, I'm sure has her other side. Just uses her space. Is going to save her other side. Uh, picking up the the alt uh, or the energy there to so alt again. Does get the double alt, but it's not going to matter. And there it is. Wow. So we see Varesh.